this session is about clearing whatever doubts you have regarding men so as a management as an optional subject has a lot of uh, you know some preconceived notions in regards to the length of the syllabus and the numericals so in the past years what i have observed is the the kind of questions students have in their mind in regards to choosing management as an optional are very much same the first question that they have is ma'am the syllabus is quite lengthy will we be able to cover it and what so the second question that i frequently is uh, you know have been asked like it's been always the question that ma'am what is going to be my like performance rate also like how my performance is going to come out if i'm choosing management as an optional over other optional subjects the answer to the first question students is that see the questions are always you know management the the syllabus is lengthy it appears to be but if you are you know using the right approach in completion of the management as an optional subject believe me this is the most easiest optional optional subject that you can choose there is an annual report from the year 2021 2022 where you know if you compare other optional subject management as an optional sub subject has a 15.4% success rate so that itself uh, you know displays the fact that it is if you choose it and you are being very very you know strategic in your uh, planning okay in strategic in your um, completion of the syllabus and you know you are making your doing regular answer writing the problem comes is you know students give as an aspirant they focus more on the uh, their gs subjects and they try to you know miss out on answer writing part when it comes to management they are right you know we are completing the syllabus whatever uh, you know near the when the exam is approaching we are going to be writing down the questions you know and then we are going to be like going through with the Um, uh, like the optional subject, and here the you know the stumbling blocks come. Whenever in in management optional, I have been emphasizing to all my students from the past years that as soon as you are completing whatever topic I am teaching you, immediately start answer writing. You know, answer writing, and you submit your your answers to an you know the evaluator so that your areas of improvement can be identified. And with management as an optional subject, you can include a lot of real life based examples. you know the question also how you are going to prepare for management as a optional subject in a reverse engineering uh, method right so the questions that are asked are very very you know they are very re repetitive so there are numerical based questions which are like asked in a gap of 2 to 3 years so after 2 to 3 years you know they ask the same question although the like the uh, numbers and everything the figures are changing but the question is almost the almost the same like if you talk about um, you know there is a myth in regards to paper 2 where students say ma'am there is a statistic subject but and there is a numerical also so like how will be able to focus on the theory as well as numericals what happens here is in qtdm the the lpp linear programming there is a question in regards to linear programming if upsc is asking a numerical then you are going to be either getting a question from lpp or you are going to be getting a question from probability distribution right so you are going to be getting a question from the control charts like the p charts s charts right so these questions if you are when, when you are attending or you are completing the syllabus when you are studying and you are immediately practicing those questions so they always are there in your mind and if the question are, comes again so then you know that how are, you have to attempt the you know this question so there is nothing that comes out of the syllabus the syllabus is vast there is a hidden syllabus also but when you are doing like you know thoroughly you are completing the topics you are putting in your effort in answer writing then believe me it is easy to secure about 300 marks we have students who have secured about 300 marks also in management optional only the paper that was frankly speaking difficult was in the year 2015 after that also the paper the you know the rigor level is usually from medium to easy i won't say the you know the rigor level is very very high in terms of the the kind of questions that are asked so you have to focus on the previous year questions whatever the pyqs are are and then start you know preparing for management as an optional subject okay the paper is definitely you must know about it also but i'll repeat it the paper is you have paper 1 paper 2 each carry 250 250 marks right and there the questions are divided in two sections for paper 1 also there are two sections section section a section b for paper 1 of course section a section b there are two questions that are compulsory eight questions are asked two questions like question 1 and question 5 are compulsory 
otherwise the remaining three are your choices okay so and the paper is all definitely divided into uh, you know the the questions is in divided into parts only so you can easily attempt and you know score well in regards to whatever question are asked okay so now this was a brief overview that i can give you about the management optional subject whatever questions now you have guys you can just let me know and then we'll do a discussion around those lines please be free to ask your questions is uh, harsha is asking is there any chronology to approach subjects topics in paper to make it easier in cover topics like i have told you the best strategy harsha you can use is in regards to paper 2 is reverse engineering and in paper 2 as well as in paper 1 how you you can go you know and you can start like observing the previous year questions and you can immediate once you are you know you see your syllabus keep your syllabus on on one hand and you can even keep the pyqs in regards to that the the subject that you are studying let's say you are studying mis so keep mis previous year questions and keep the mis uh, you know the topic that you are studying if you are able to identify the question and you are able to relate it with the syllabus then you can start you know preparing and start learning that topic along those lines only so that's the strategy you can use in regards to not just paper 2 but also paper 1 for management okay jyoti is saying how is the test series conducted ma'am see the test series is conducted um like once the syllabus is getting over like if i have taught one subject okay immediately you will be starting so you will be given a test series in regards to that uh, subject that i have taught you and the test series in accordance to the as the syllabus is going to be completed immediately the same uh, you know uh, answer writing questions will be given to you i will be i give questions in the class assignments also and post that also when once the entire subject is completed you are going to get the test series of answer writing there okay and your papers will be evaluated given to you so that you can see how you can sometimes you know you the students are asked to rewrite the answer reframe the answer because the answer quality is not not, not that level so the so that is more of about the like how much uh, you know effort you are even willing to put right so sure, uh, jyoti you can go ahead and uh, you know uh get in touch with the admins okay uh, i hope you have the contact number of those people right so i am the faculty for definitely here so i i guess you have the number right paper 2 is taught by me and paper 1 is taught by rahul sir okay and uh, we both teach and like the classes are usually every day so in the morning rahul sir is having his classes and in the evening i conduct the classes okay sure you can join the test series and you can inform them about so they will how they let you know when the topic is done they'll give you the like the questions in regards to that topic okay harsha is saying how to choose which subject we have to go first and last see harsha Uh, are you from uh, management background or are, or are you from non management background okay so you are definitely from so you have a good knowledge about the management so start start immediately working upon your i i always suggest this to my students start like with the subject you have confidence upon okay let's say in paper 2 you have confidence in regards to uh, pom okay principles of management so you can immediately you know start uh, with, with that subject that subject would give you little more confidence also right that okay i am able to complete the syllabus it's not about the the uh, like th there is a, another subject called scm strategic cost management the syllabus the questions usually are asked in that is in regards to a lot of theory okay so the questions are asked in terms of short notes so you can identify that which like how your uh, how much timeline you have and how you are going to which are you, how you are going to be beginning with your strengths so start with your subjects which which are your, which can be your strength also which you definitely can identify 
and then start then going to the another subject another take the subject you find difficult in the middle okay so if you are doing paper 2 start with an easy subject then take the tougher one which you feel that okay maybe statistics is not my uh, you know strength so i'll do that in the middle and it, you know then you can go again with the other subject so it will be like a sandwich approach you can use in in regards to the completion of the subject okay i hope i have addressed your doubt right okay Ramya, do you have any doubt? Uh, good morning, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, actually, I have completed my MBA recently. Mm -hmm. uh, my pre, uh, this is my third attempt, ma'am. Uh, okay. Actually, the uh, the two previous attempts, my uh, optional was anthropology, but okay. uh, where somewhere I felt that it is not getting into my mind. Hmm. So I thought of changing my optional. When I saw the optional list, I felt management management was somewhere. It was uh, a kind of uh, topics which I read in my MBA. Yes. So I'm still thinking whether it is a right point of view to go to management or else still uh, go to anthropology, which I little feel uh, difficult for me to understand. Right. So uh, and so since your like your background is management only, right? Yes, ma'am. MBA. Yeah. So I think you know. This is a very, uh, honestly speaking, there's a myth in regards to the option subject where students, you know, I, recently I was having a conversation with one of the students and she was studying, you know, sociology for about good two to three years. And she told me that, ma'am, I am completely blank in this regards because, and, you know, just because of like the, the peer group was choosing uh, and people were giving that feedback that, you know, I can score well, I can score well. So I chose this subject, but I, this is not becoming still, it's not giving me confidence. You, that the plus point is Ramya, you have already from a management background. And the wonderful thing is that, you know, the, the, the subjects that are there in your paper one and paper two is something that you have already previously studied. So for somebody who's a, for anthropology, it's going to be your, you're starting from a beginner's level. Okay. So it's like, imagine it like a race you are, you know, you are in and you are start, st you are standing at the, you know, at the extreme beginning. There are students who have already, who are like, who have bachelors, who have masters in anthropology. So they are like fa little far ahead beyond you. Okay. So their preparations, their, uh, um, you know, their content that they have in their mind is going to be little more than as compared to you. Okay. It, anthropology as a subject, it, you know, it would take you a lot more time also to complete, frankly speaking. But management is already something that you have studied very well. And the subjects are also like, all you have to do is in management is with little effort, you can score quite good like marks. Okay. Sure, your efforts are not going to be that much because you're very well versed. So start, you know, choosing management. As, I would suggest that you know, start seeing the subject and start identifying the topics that you have already studied in your graduation and post-graduation. Then I think it would give you a, like the better idea that management as an optional can be really, really good for you. If you really want to, you know, go ahead and improve your rank also. Yes, ma'am. Actually, when it comes to anthropology, most of the people uh, where I am uh, taking coaching in the first attempt, the most of the people were anthropology students, only the one optional they used to take and they used to tell only this one you will be able to, you will be able to score marks in this thing. Uh, so that's where I took that, uh, that one. But uh, uh, prior to that, I have understood that we have to have some of the humanities background when we are supposed to uh, go to anthropology. Yeah. Where I have completed my engineering and my MBA, where I don't have any kind of medical uh, no. uh, field. Yeah. That's where I'm uh, finding a difficulty in anthropology. You're like, you know, you're, you have to struggle in, so there, are, there would be topics where you would be struggling, honestly speaking. And the, 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 the topics where you would be struggling, that would be like, you know, demotivating you also. And why to go for something which is, you know, not, you're not going to give you, you know, you are not feeling good about that topic studying in terms of, you know, we are putting in struggles, but still the, you're not that super confident with the fact that, okay, I can, if you know, any kind of a question come, I can, you know, attempt it. With management is, 
you have already studied like you know so this is something that is going to be like not so very difficult if you compare compare it with anthropology for you especially yes ma'am hmm so please have you seen the syllabus uh, ramya yes ma'am i have seen the syllabus uh, okay. not thoroughly but i have i have understood few of the topics where okay. i have learned in my mba yeah that's what i'm telling you with you 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 know when you'll be studying also believe me you are going to be like i have studied this topic this is very easy okay let me just i can write something about it you know of course during the preparation you are going to get a lot of more content in regards to writing see mains answer writing is more about whatever knowledge you have you are just you know you, you know putting down on on a piece of a paper and how you are presenting it matters i know students who are from good b schools also but they are not able to you know present their answer in the most like the presentation of the answer or the content they suffer and i know people from normal uh, like colleges also who have just done like bbb or something like that and they are able to you know explain the same topic in in a much more you know compressive way in a much more better presentable way with the diagrams and with everything so this is more about that the knowledge that you have acquired how you are able to pen it down if you compare it with anthropology you know you would there will be like a standard concept that you have learned standard the you know knowledge you would be having about certain topics but in management you are going to be having like a lot of good content to write you can include real life based examples you will be remembering something that you have studied in your graduation your po sorry post graduation and you can include that also right so i highly recommend that you really like again go through the syllabus and identify this the topics and everything and then switch to management okay ma'am ma'am if would uh, i want to take as a management as my optional how mm -hmm. many days it would be taking me to complete the entire syllabus see uh, have you like uh, have you attempted the prelims this year no ma'am i'm uh, as i'm working uh, yeah, recently yeah. i have joined and big four so i'm working okay uh, so i did not give this attempt no 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 problem see uh, so basically the timeline that uh, i ask my students to go by in completion of a detailed completion of mains optional is 6 months 180 days okay so 6 months is like i try to complete the syllabus in somewhere around like 4 and 1/2 5 months but 6 months is the stretch timeline i can give it to you so 6 months just keep in mind that's the buffer timeline i'm giving you and rest depends upon your preparation like how regular you are in terms of completion of your syllabus okay, okay. ma'am okay i hope your doubts are clear ramya yes ma'am wonderful uh, there is a question by harsha is there any detailed micro syllabus available to cover every topic which explains what we have to read more than other less topic of course that is how i have uh, told you harsha also that you know there are topics you have to but do bef before find there is actually no uh, reference that i can give you that this is available there and there it is more about the fact that the pyqs that are asked you have to identify the questions and then start making your own little you know micro syllabus and start preparing according to those lines okay harsha okay is there any other question you guys have ma'am if in case of optional for management mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh per day how many classes will be there see uh so paper 1 is taken by rahul sir paper i paper 2 is taken by me okay so every day you are going to have two classes we'll have both online and offline mode so uh, ramya you are based out of which city i am hyderabad i am located in hyderabad presently okay okay then online mode suits you right so yes, all right so you, what you can do is you can take the recordings right there's a live class also that happens and the timings and class schedule is given to you in the morning rahul sir is taking the classes in the evening i'm taking the classes so every day it's going to be like one like one hour one and a half hour by rahul sir and one one like one and a half hour class by me so that's how the and my classes are alternate days right so that that you will be informed according to how you they are going to be okay 
for because okay, for some ma'am. subject i take alternate days classes otherwise it's like a regular class depends upon which subject i'm covering that point okay ma'am okay. okay we have uh, someone else who has joined um, may i know your name also and your uh, the location from where you are joining ma'am uh, my name is vinay okay hi and i'm from hyderabad okay yes uh, vinay tell me any doubt in regards to management optional yeah ma'am i need a full clarification regarding the sub uh, syllabus basically i am from mba background mm -hmm. so, so i need the, some more um, some more your voice is Hello? actually your voice is breaking it's can you just be somewhere where there is proper signals i am not able to hear you properly or you can type in the chat box also if that suits you am um, is it audible ma'am yeah now it's perfect yes tell me uh i think ma'am i need a complete clarification regarding management uh, option okay so in management optional as in the course that you want to know because i have just done a brief overview about how management like as a subject comes in like means you want to know about how the the course is there from our end right yeah ma'am and regarding the question paper also okay so uh, see basically the like i have discussed it already with other students that in regards to the management as an optional subject the paper is definitely divided into two sections there are so i have you i hope you have seen the syllabus also yeah ma'am hmm. so the the numeric two numerical subjects are there in your paper one right financial management and accounting for managers and uh, in regards to the paper two there is a statistics subject which we call it call it as qtdm right and there is a numeric there is a subject also from s like strategic cost management where a uh, one numerical question comes usually and that's a topic that has been frequently been asked so um, in regards to that other otherwise the other subjects that are there one is an it based subject that is mis that's in your paper 2 again and in your paper 1 you since you have done mba you must be knowing about subjects like hrm right you must be knowing about subjects like ob right yeah. so yeah. just, like like the, the the subjects that you study in your first two semesters of mba again after your yeah so those subjects are there in your paper 1 and the third and fourth like the final uh, you know your subjects that are there in your mba they, that are there in your paper okay and okay. in regards to the questions um there are so the best thing about management as an optional subject is the that like the there are there is a pattern of upsc repeating the same topics in a gap of 2 to 3 years so if you have done your like the past 5 year pyq is very well so definitely you can score good good marks and especially for students who are from you know management background i highly recommend them that please choose manage because mains like an optional subject should not be an extra burden for you because you are already you know having a lot of content to grasp in your gs papers okay so yeah. your optional subject should be something that is your strength already okay yes, yes ma'am so choose uh, choosing a management as an optional subject would like make you complete the syllabus with a better ease if you compare it with your other because you know when i was during the time when i was preparing at that moment in time you know sociology all these subjects were very very, very popular so students used to feel that okay even if i am not from that background i can score any you know easily that at that point in time so now since the times have changed things have changed there, there are other favorite subjects that are coming for as an um, uh, you know as as per the pattern changes the scoring changes but still you know the traditional way of choosing an optional subject is always going to be your strength only right so choosing okay. choosing your management as an optional subject with your pyqs also you will find that these are the questions that you have already studied in your post graduation okay, okay. the rigor level is usually from easy to medium it's never like too complex okay right okay ma'am hmm? okay ma'am hmm. okay any any anything else that you want to ask no ma'am nothing no? okay fine perfect
so if your doubts are clear guys can i just close the session then ma'am can you briefly once again explain about uh, the syllabus and the pattern uh, uh, about the syllabus and with the question paper see i have told you this that the syllabus have you seen the syllabus of management optional yeah ma'am so you tell me that where 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 are you finding little problem like which if you if i ask you that okay where tell me in from paper 1 paper 2 which is the subject that you are like finding little difficult in paper 2 strategic yeah. management mm -hmm. strategic so strategic cost management you know the best part about that subject the best part about that subject is upsc asks questions in regards to this particular subject in terms of like write a short note on this write a short note on this topic so scm is really not that difficult okay there are mm -hmm. certain concepts that you have to do and it is you know it takes much lesser time to com complete in, if you compare it with other paper 2 subjects okay okay don't just get like if it's if people, students think that ma'am this is something like this is just just the word cost is something that they have added and students get like fearful that ma'am what is strategic cost management we have studied strategic management what is the strategic cost management it's really just like what strategic management you have done please don't like have that doubt that it is something else the topics and upsc is also asking from this particular subject is in in terms of short notes okay so your syllabus completion is going to be like whatever your topic you are studying there will be one numerical like one or two numericals and the topic is also very, a very standard topic okay so that is how you can prepare for scm in regards to paper 2 okay ma'am okay thank you my pleasure all right so i'm closing this session students right if you have any doubts let me know and you can connect with me i'm uh, you have the number of diadmi is all right Okay thank you everybody have a good day